Hey guys, Mobile Geezer here. And I just wanted to make you aware of uh, somewhat of a phenomenon that's been going around that I came across. And some people are calling it the dumb phone revolution. Others are calling it the anti-smartphone revolution. And it seems that uh, some people are tired of being tracked every place they go through their phone and others are tired of uh, submitting themselves to Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, every second of every day, checking their phone every five minutes. And uh, some people are just kind of getting tired of it and either need a break or some are actually getting away from it completely. And the uh, strangest thing seems to be that a lot of young people are doing this. A lot of people between 25 and 35. So it's kind of an interesting phenomenon. So I thought I'd uh, make you guys aware of it in case you hadn't heard about it. And I'm going to pull up a little article about it. Get it up. So let me share my screen here. This was an article I found on Next Pit. Retro phones. Why buying a dumb phone or an old phone is smart. So it seems like a lot of people are going in this direction and there are even some companies coming up with uh, dumb phones that uh, seem to be catching on and people are buying them. So this is by Gabriel uh, Robert uh, from a few days ago, I believe. If you are like me and were born before the year 2000, yeah, I was born before the year 2055 years before the year 2000. You will surely remember your first cell phone as a GSM handset. This object entered our daily life with just a few taps on the keypad, allowing us to remain in touch with our loved ones near and far to play games on the small screen and monochrome, and especially fooling around with strong vibrations and polyphonic sounds of the latest American Idol hit. You also would probably remember the snake game on Nokia. Yeah, I remember that. Your classmates' latest flip phone, number of hours spent looking for interchangeable case from a physical store. Our phones became a way to assert our similarities, individualities, and differences. Back then, our phones weren't really smart. WhatsApp and Instagram didn't exist. We were sending messages via MSN while Facebook was only starting to attract American college kids. I'm talking about the early 2000s when a small amount of data flowed through our mobiles. 20 years ago, all the mobiles on the planet were struggling to reach 100 gigabytes of data consumption daily. Back then, Google was a search engine which was still available on Internet Explorer and Chrome didn't exist. I can remember all of that. In just two in just two decades, our phones have changed so much. In 2021, Huawei estimated that a single user transferred an average of 1.5 gigabytes of data per day on their smartphone alone. In the age of constant unlimited connectivity, some are choosing to go back to basics. And that's the point of the whole article. Here's the Nokia 8810. The well-known brand wanted to go back to the basic phones route in 2018, which you can get that right now. So I'm just going to skip around this article a bit. Uh, now here, are retro phones relevant? The ecological impact data protection or the vintage aspect of GSM may push some people to switch to mobiles from another time. But in the era of the iPhone 13 and the Samsung Galaxy S22, the retro phones fans risk having a hard life. If they choose an old phone, there's a risk of it falling apart. While it may be easy to repair, it will be difficult to find replacement parts for their original phone unless they opted for a Nokia 3310 
people's batteries and parts are still available and is basically one of the hardiest phones ever developed and that's the phone you're seeing in my background um, but let's skip down a little bit Uh, feature phones a credible alternative whether it's the Ocatel Go Flip 3 the Nokia 3310 dual sim from 2020 or the Nokia 8110 4G manufacturers have understood that continued production of replicas of their best sellers fulfills a niche desire for those who are nostalgic for a keypad and you can see one of the pictures here uh, updating old models to keep them current, old sneakers, musical instruments, clothing, and even car manufacturers, all of these have already been done. The embedded technology of the features phone might appeal to aesthetic seekers more than those who prefer to remain disconnected. Indeed, the majority of feature phones released over the last few years use either Android or KAIOS operating system allowing one to install the most downloaded applications on the Google Play Store. It is difficult to unglue oneself in this case. Now if I included in the description the video that got me started on this from uh, Cold Fusion TV uh, he's an Australian guy who does excellent, excellent videos with a lot of research. And uh, if you watch that video, you'll see this is not just a uh, American or any particular country's uh, phenomenon. This is kind of worldwide and a lot of people are disconnecting. So also, if you look out on, let me stop this screen. If we look out on Amazon, there are a number of phones. There's the... Nokia 3310 I was telling you about but if we look on Amazon you can see there are a lot of feature phones out here the ZTE track phone Nokia and look at the prices $75 $50 $70 $49 $47 now what you want to make sure is that uh, you have 4G connectivity because 3G has just about gone away or soon will. Uh, Punked is one of the newer companies that have started just making these feature phones. So there's a lot of them out there and I just wanted to make you guys aware of it. So if you want to get disconnected for a while or just get disconnected and just be able to make phone calls and send test messages, just these new feature phones that have 4G connectivity might be the way to go. So just wanted to make you guys aware in case you are not aware that this is somewhat of a revolution seems to be going around the world. So if you're tired of being tracked constantly, tired of uh, having yourself hooked on uh, these social networks. Maybe you want to pick up a feature phone and use it for a while or carry it with you and turn off your smartphone for a while. So as always, comments are welcome and thanks for watching. Oh, and by the way, we all do better when we love each other.